Uh, I bought your full package, but I'm not confident with my care uh, in my own custody alone uh, if I buy crypto assets. In other words, I would think that Coinbase, for example, one of the leading exchanges, uh, has spent a fortune on security. Uh, why isn't that secure enough? Uh, so I, I think this is a great question. Um, also, uh, I think there's a couple couple of approaches here. One is also in the news, maybe a month ago, was a lot of users losing their funds on Coinbase. Uh, and in this case, it had nothing to do with uh, the internal security at Coinbase. It actually had to do with how Coinbase operates, um, which is people access their accounts uh, through a phone uh, or through a website. And some people with mobile phones uh, were victims of what's called a SIM attack, um, where uh, someone can uh, basically call up the mobile operator and basically transfer their number um, uh, to uh, a phone that they control. Uh, and so the short story here is that if you have uh, a password to an exchange uh, and 2FA like uh, uh, an SMS message, um, you also have to protect that just as much as you'd have to protect uh, your seed, your backup. Uh, and so, and these can be lost and they're lost all the time. And uh, one of the stories was, yeah, uh, someone had $170,000 in Coinbase and it just got wiped out. Uh, and it's not only that person, it's uh, quite a few people. Um, so that's one example, like your, your login, you need to keep secure uh, yourself also. Uh, so that's still your own responsibility. Um, so uh, another answer is that even and hasn't happened with Coinbase, but it's happened with other large exchanges that, that I'm aware of, where uh, even if they have optimal security, like perfect security, um, problems still can happen. Um, and there's one exchange, you, you really have to vet well uh, the employees that work there and the contractors that you use. And one large exchange, they um, lost uh, a few billion um, because uh, a contractor uh, installed... Um, yeah, basically a backdoor when they're making making some software for them. Um, and so there's that, and there's also um, uh, the case in South Africa where uh, two brothers who opened up an exchange, they just decided to walk away with all the money. Uh, and so they did, and they're hiding somewhere. Or uh, also the issue in Canada, I believe a year ago, where supposedly the owner of the exchange died um, in India, and he was the only one with keys to the whole coins. Uh, and so people aren't so sure if he actually died or not, but basically everyone lost their coins because the person with access to the key died. Um, so, uh, and if you look at history, uh, you know, billions and billions have been lost uh, through exchanges, through hacks and exit scams and so on and so on. Yeah. So uh, interesting question from NetDiver. Um, I opened several accounts on the Bitbox. We, will the backup uh, still be the same for all of them? That comes back to the slide, I think mistake number two, uh, that you don't need to um, update it and you basically secure your main secret that everything else can be calculated in a reproducible way over and over again. So every time you derivate all the accounts, all the addresses, all the coins, the result stays always the same because the algorithm is strictly defined. And yes, uh, we only showed the addresses, but this is exactly true also for all the accounts. So if, for example, on the Bitbox app, you can now have multiple accounts, which are really strictly separate um, to organize your funds. And if you restore the backup, um, you can simply add the accounts again and all the coins will be there. The only thing you lose is actually the, like the description of the, um, the account. You can name them whatever you want, but that's not, that's not safe with the bit, the, with the backup. And it's all, of course, also not part of the blockchain. Yeah. So yeah, the simple answer is the backup will be the same, the single backup. And I'd also just add that, um, this, uh, feature to make multiple accounts. This is also follows a standard. Uh, and so if you load up your backup into a different wallet, um, your accounts will still be there for that wallet and vice versa. Um, 